Still a lovely morning. Another 7 Eleven. That blue shirt was there yesterday. But 7 Eleven, morning. 7 Eleven uh, here in the Philippines and, and I found in Asia in general, kind of like what. 7-eleven used to be in america it used to kind of be the place to go uh, but i don't really remember 7-eleven being as, as good in america as it is in asia and i first really started realizing that in bangkok uh, the first time i went there we had the airbnb little place and right down the road was a 7-Eleven went in there is nice and clean they have like what do people eat out of 7-Eleven they you know they eat whole meals out of 7-Eleven here I can go in there right now and I've done it a few times you go get a cup of coffee and a shield pile you know what that is uh, don't look it up I can't explain it basically it's a steamed bun with barbecue meat on the inside but you can go in and get that you know for less than a couple of bucks you can eat breakfast they've got a amount of beer in there they've got wine they've got other food items all kinds of sodas and chips and snacks <coughs> and they're uh, one thing about them they uh, that I've noticed is different in a lot of places here every every place here they give you your merchandise in a plastic bag. And if you've ever sw swim, swam in the ocean here, you know, you're most likely gonna, you're gonna find a plastic bag or a chip bag or something like that. But 7-Eleven, I'm gonna have to move. Seven Eleven delivers every all their merchandise in a paper bag which is kind of nice you know uh, I'm not you know a doom and gloomer on the end of the world and global warming climate change whatever they used to call it uh, they thought the world was gonna get too cold uh, all that aside you know it just makes sense to me to put something in a pla in a, in a paper bag because my gosh, you know, if you drop it on the ground, which you shouldn't, it's going to disintegrate eventually, and it's just going to go back. So, so yeah. I'm going to go get a cup of coffee because it's 85 degrees, and I need to sweat. Sometimes I, I question the idea of getting coffee in the morning because it does. It heats you up right away. There's a jeepney station. There's a bus. A nice bus. So I get up here to the market and just kind of walking on the left side of it. You see the tricycle drivers getting ready for their day. Wait for the first few passengers. Truck offloading some some sort of goods. I like those little trucks. There's a bunch of them over here. The guys just kind of easing into their day. Uh, another tricycle. I think I need to adjust the uh, camera. Get a wider angle on this. But the common areas are starting to open up. A few little shops, about a quarter to six. And a uh, guy out there carried somebody up to the market early. Another common area is full blast this morning. And some of them still shut. So some of them still closed. And they'll st stay open until probably one o'clock. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs>
So I came by the coffee shop this morning and lady selling uh, puto. <laughs> they sell this all over the Philippines? Yeah. All over? Yes. But I only see it in Iloilo. Uh, uh, all over. Puto. Puto. Like this though. Okay. So it's 20 pesos. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Got the coffee. Do you mind if I... Do you like that? Yep. Yeah. I like it with bad With bad toy, dude. Very good. Do you mind if I video? Okay. Okay, la? Okay. Okay. Yeah, so this is my coffee shop when I come out for <laughs> when I come out for uh, coffee. And I don't do that very often, but nice little place. And then all my partners. And my friends. Yeah. <laughs> All my partners. Yeah. So, I've got followers in the United States and Canada, and they like to see... They like to see what it's like in the Philippines. Here in the so, Philippines. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, so you take the... Morning. Take the puto. I already dipped it. Oh. I already dipped it once, so. And it it soaks up whatever. Like if you've got soup, a broth, bok choy, any kind of sabao, you just oh saging. <laughs> Big transaction going on. Anyway, that's my breakfast coffee. So he brought out the water for me. He's asked me that before. You know what they say, they drink the water. Good uh, day off. <laughs> yeah. See you guys. See you later. Well, you can see all of the little shops. I don't know why I picked that one, but I picked it a long time ago, the little one that I was just at. And probably because there were some older guys sitting there. They're always nice to me. We don't always understand each other, but it's okay. <coughs> morning. Good morning. How are you? Mm. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine. Good coffee back there for you. <laughs> Let us say hello. There's a couple more open. Morning. Hello. Good morning. There's always somebody selling something. Looks like it's about to rain. Or maybe it is raining, I don't know. That's it. 
to get these lined up. Catholic Church always open for business. I've got to where sometimes I just like to walk across the street and just kind of approach the church. I'm not Catholic, I think I say that later, but I'll just kind of stand up in the front and uh, I don't know, just listen a little bit. Of course, I don't understand the language. But just kind of stand up there. There's a couple of ladies over there on the right. I don't want to disturb them, but just kind of get a glimpse inside the church. Just kind of, kind of ties you back to some ancient, you know, uh, or historical time. Hopefully grounds me a little bit. Oblivious when it comes to Catholicism. I was half-raised Protestant. And uh, anything I know about the church is Protestant. I'm going to sit here by Pavia. Oh, oh, wow. Just setting some water again. This time I'm just setting in it. Not a big deal. Yeah, it's a, it's a hazy, humid. It's not like super hot this morning uh, I noticed when I come around the church there come out from the market I felt a little cool like a coolness it seemed like it was cooler than it normally normally is after I drink coffee because coffee just breaks me out of sweat um, here it does in, if you're in the humidity you put something that's 90 degrees in your belly, you know, you're going to be, you're going to be uh, a lot hotter. Let's just put it that way. But uh, he gave me that water, and I know I'm probably going to need comments. Don't, don't drink the water. And I, I agree, but I don't know. I've been going there for a while. I'm not saying you won't, I won't get sick from there, but sometimes I have a hard time saying no to good intention hospitality you know <coughs> so morning yeah there's a lot of people exercise here in in, uh, in this town Elo Elo City definitely anytime fitness is big a lot of gyms a lot of runners a lot of bicyclers everybody knows that but uh so yeah, I feel a little bit cooler after drinking that water. I walked out, and that may just be, probably is just coincidence. Let's go to 7-Eleven and get a bottle of water. I just saw something that I've never seen before. <clears throat> Got a War Veterans Memorial monument here. Well, they've been about everywhere America's been.
is really walking off his his uh, make getting his exercise. Okay, so we're going inside this 7-Eleven and uh, got a coffee machine right there on your left. We're going to go to the back and get some water, but you can see they've got stuff stacked everywhere. Snacks, there's alcohol in the back, we're going to pass that. Um, you know, there's Shio Pao right there, Shio Pao, and uh, you know, there's hot dogs right there. There's just a lot of stuff in there, all kind of chips. There's the alcohol aisle, like your wines and liquors. San Miguel stacked in the back. And then here's the cold products, like Pepsis, Cokes. And I'm going to get a water. It's going to cost me 17 pesos. I had to block out the sound on this because it's got some copyrighted music in it, probably. So I just went ahead and dropped down the volume on that. Look at all the, the soup on the bottom there. I'll come back to it here in a second. But... They have, I'll turn around here, you'll be able to see that soup again. Just the cup of noodles type stuff. Um, you know, just noodles in a little plastic thing. And people come in and buy those all the time. And uh, you can see the guard there, he's got the yellow shirt on. He's not even dressed for today. He come in early and he's going to be putting on his uniform. <laughs> you can see the noodles down there in the bottom in the coffee machine. It's a pretty decent cup of coffee. I'm trying to find a place to get in line there. The donuts look like they're out of uh, out of stock. They've already raided the donuts for the for the morning. Who knows? Maybe all night long. Donuts are pretty popular here in the Philippines, so they're getting their this this dynamic duo is getting their two coffees. Oh, I got me some water. Just shot some of that on the table. For me water I'm not I'm not against water but it's not something I naturally go for and I need to I need to drink more of it <clears throat> as uh, over there by the sign over there, I just got all choked up uh, I guess I was missing my water but yeah so here I sat in the in the Pavia Plaza show you a jeep I see about every day I see him around town it says the Punisher on the side of it that's just funny to me that's that's fine but uh, I decorate stuff up then I've got uh, there's a Centennial building I'm not sure what that is some kind of community building the Pavia Plaza and Town Hall which they do a lot of work there for the city and then next to it is the um, multi-purpose center the pavia multi-purpose center and uh, i'm sitting here on these tables watching the world go by pavia pavia does a lot for its citizens i think it does uh being here in the philippines i feel like the local government is there corruption? Probably some, you know, but I don't think it's to the level that that you have in the United States or wherever you're from. It's kind of known what's corrupt around here and what's not, and sometimes it makes you a little bit mad. I, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still getting over a bad cold. I've been coughing and sinus drainage ever since I got back from Barakai, which has been two weeks. Uh, but, for example, on corruption, my nephew uh, was going to try to get his driver's license. He has to get a driver's license to keep his job. So, there's always somebody wanting to help you get your driver's license. There's always somebody. Now, I went and got mine. I kind of did a video on that, a couple of videos maybe, but 
and it, it wasn't that difficult. The most difficult thing for me was that I had to wait in line, and I, I went back four times because one time, I, first time I went, I just wasn't waiting that long. I waited for probably 45 minutes, and it was going to be another two hours, and I just like, I'll just come back at three o'clock. So, uh, but my nephew doesn't have that kind of time, and that's what people know. If you work full time somewhere, you work six days a week. Sunday, you get hit by a leaf. Sunday, you, you're off, but so is the the LTO, the Land Transportation Office. So what they know is that you're kind of in a bind. You have to get your license, and you know you don't have time. So, so they have what's called fixers, and they're not legal, but they give opportunities to people like my nephew for 8,000 pesos, <clears throat> 8,000 pesos. It choked up again, 8,000 pesos. You can, uh, you can get your license. They'll rush you through, you know. You don't have to fill out all the work. You don't have to stand in line. <clears throat> I don't even think you have to take a test. Yeah, you don't have to take a test. So there's two things going on at least. <clears throat> Once, of course, the low level, the low level bureaucrat that's doing this doesn't make any money. They're looking for ways to make money. Does that make it right? No, but it is a fact. So the wages here are very poor. <clears throat> Did a quick Google search the other day, and uh, the doctors here make about 1,500 U.S. a month if, if they're doing well. So, so I make more than a doctor. <clears throat> Just won't give up. So anyway, long story short, we told them don't do that. Don't do that because it's like almost a month's salary for this guy. He's gonna be paying for this for a long time. He didn't see any way out. That's the way, that's the way poor people do it. <coughs> and they don't have a lot of options, they don't have a lot of time. So, he, somehow or other, he, he decided he wasn't gonna do that. And uh, he, he got able, he was able to take off work. They let him take off work. He went down, took his test, and he passed it. <coughs> and he was so elated when he passed his test. And I was so proud for him. <clears throat> he thought, he thought I was, you know, oh wow, you passed your test, it's great. He thought that's what I was celebrating at the time. What I was celebrating was the fact that he didn't, he didn't give in to the corruption, which is a small thing to me. Uh, if he'd done it, you know, it's kind of the way things are done here. What I was excited about is what happened to him on the inside whenever he, realized that he had done it and didn't have to pay a bribe that he was smart enough to to pass the test and he's accomplished something he went and studied and he fought through and he did something hard for him and he achieved what he wanted to get you know he achieved what he was going after and that's what just lights me up on the inside you know <clears throat> that's just a start you know he knows now that he has a little bit more confidence in himself and that's exciting to me. <clears throat> so the past couple of weeks, I've barely been able to walk. <clears throat> I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to say, you know, anything. I'm fine. But <clears throat> I've been around the house and I apologize for just keep coughing for some reason. But uh, I've been around the house, I've been taking Motrin, Ever since Baraka, I've been I've been down, and <clears throat> I've got issues with my computer right now. Uh, I'm gonna have to do everything on my phone, I guess, for until I get it sorted out. I will get it sorted out, but it's a I, it's a iMac computer. Usually, uh, I edit all my videos in iMovie, which is <clears throat> already installed on the computer. 
and I just drag and drop my pictures, drag and drop my pictures, my videos. And <clears throat> sometimes, you know, there's 25, 30 cuts in one video. And uh, so anyway, I'm gonna end the video right here because I can't seem to get control of my coffee. I don't know what it is. So uh, cheers, my 15 peso bottle of water. Remember, a dollar now is 56 pesos. So a lot of a lot of bottles for this 7-Eleven water too. A lot of bottles of water for one dollar if you spend a whole dollar. So this is Randall Philippines Project. Talk to you later. That was my friend Ray that went by. He went by in that orange e-bike. Seek used to used to be a sea cod, and uh, he bought that nice orange e-bike. If you look back, uh, I have a video how to get a beer in the Philippines, how to go out and get a beer. He's in that video, so heck of a nice guy. I love Ray. He's I think his name's Ronaldo, but we call him Ray. So cool. So cool that he got a he got an e-bike. You don't have to push his legs to the limit every day because that's what he did. <clears throat> Morning. So most of the places are still closed. I don't know what time it is, maybe 7.30. That's about it for today.